Welcome to Machining Tech Tips. This video is all about interior fillets, the radii that are formed on the inside of a part when material is milled out of it. We'll discuss the three primary types of interior fillets and how best to create them. Specifically, we'll cover radii between two vertical walls, radii between a horizontal floor and a vertical wall, and the advantages of using ball end mills on contoured surfaces. The most common type of interior fillet we see is the radius between two vertical walls. Because CNC machining uses round end mills, pockets will always end up with a radius. If you want to minimize lead time and maximize value, it's important to select the correct radius for the depth of the feature to be cut. We find that it's best to design with a depth that is six times the corner radius or less. The second type of interior fillet is a radius between a horizontal floor and a vertical wall. If the vertical fillet is the same as the floor fillet, a ball end mill must be used. The easiest and most cost-effective approach to horizontal wall fillets is not to have them at all. On contoured surfaces, typically a ball end mill is used to machine the entire surface. What this means is the larger the radii used everywhere, the faster the feature can be cut and the better the surface finish will be. So remember, when two vertical walls meet in a pocket, always ensure that your depth is less than or equal to six times the corner radius. Where vertical walls meet floors, the end mill you use to create a fillet depends on the desired radii for each fillet. And ball end mills are ideal for machining contoured surfaces. This concludes this video on interior fillets. For more information and tech tips, please contact our design team.